you can find it in any of the fridges over in France. Any fridge in France. <laughs> Even your own See? fridge. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I've managed to break it. That's a real disaster. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> that did have some hair. That did, yes. Welcome to the Littlest Chateau. Built in the 18th century on the top of a valley overlooking a small village in the southwest of France. This is Paul and I'm Helen and with our two children and three cats we moved to France in the middle of the chaos of 2020 to follow our dream of living in a French chateau. Come join us at the start of our journey as we share the beauty of this forgotten building and follow our progress as we restore it back to what it once was. Hello, welcome back to the blog. Uh, today what we're going to try and do is start restoring some uh, some of the windows in the bar. Uh, we've never done anything like this before, uh, so this is going to be a bit uh, interesting to say the least. Uh, I'll show you what the problem is. These windows face the weather. Uh, so this one has actually been nibbled by something here. Um, and all of these Cross pieces are sort of warped in the the sun, and all the varnish is gone. So they're going to need it's going to need to be restained. Some of the wood is gone completely; it will need replacing, which means mitering and cutting. It's going to be entertaining. Okay, so uh, the process for doing this is a bit haphazard. We've got a tape measure. We have some pieces of quarter round wood, <laughs> some pieces of uh, quarter round wood. You can just see there that it's rounded. These are for the edges of the windows. Uh, this is my helpful sister who's Hi. trying <laughs> to do some work. I'm here to show him how to accurately cut the corners of the wood. Excellent. And we have some candidate windows to measure and cut for and it's these pieces um, that we're going to be attempting to replace so let's get to it where's the measuring device do you want to measure yeah okay. measure up we're doing an inches or centimeters centimeters <laughs> I'm going to go with nine and a quarter inches. Can you, <laughs> right, that's inches. Okay, right, so I'm just going to mark this. That's not necessarily where I'm going to cut it though, I know that sounds weird, but that's because I need to figure out which way round this will be on the window. So if it's at the bottom, then it's going to be like that, right? Uh, <laughs> you're, you're the one doing this, <laughs> yeah. don't ask me. Okay, so I've sawed it. I've, I've measured it and now we're going to see if the corners actually fit each other. <laughs> Yesterday they did. So is it just, square is the question. Is it square? Now, okay, now, no. so this one is the, this one goes against the window like that and this one is the bottom one. So, dun 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 dun, dun. Uh, what, what? <laughs> uh, Oh, 
How is this not right? This isn't right! What do you mean it's not right? <laughs> I How could it not be I right? I need to go to the window to assess <laughs> why it's not right. Come with, come with me here. Okay, 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 okay. So this went in the window like this. Okay, and this goes in the window like that. Okay then. So this, these two corners. Okay, right, okay. We're seeing a fit, people. The question is, is the fit the other side as well? No, it's not. That's what we ended up with yesterday, and then I magically managed. I was like, I'm going to figure this out because I love figuring out puzzles. And then I was able to cut it at a certain angle that allowed it to go together perfectly. And the proof is upstairs. And I was so excited, and I was like, Yes, I'll be able to replicate that again. And me and, and Paul. This is the result. <laughs> Me and Paul had a one euro bet. Now I was like, I will be able to do this again. <laughs> That's not on me. And then he was wah, like, wah, wah. Yeah. And honestly, this is the problem that we're having. We've got a mitre, we've got the the pieces of wood. Uh, but we're not carpenters. So <laughs> what happens is you put it in, you do your cuts, and then it's a 13 degrees instead of 45 degrees. We need to find a better way of doing this that doesn't take a hundred years because there's quite a lot of windows. So let's figure it out. Okay, so uh, what we decided to do is um, build a jig essentially to uh, make sure that the um, angles are right. Um, the basic idea is to put two pieces of wood together that form the corner and cut them together so that they cannot, uh, so it can't be wrong. Let me show you what we mean. Here's what we've got. So we have our One uh, bit of wood. 45 degree angle to cut. We've got two little runs uh, to keep the pieces that we're going to cut stable. And we stick them in together. Like this. Um, is that the right way up? Yes. And two. Uh, the two pieces of wood that are going to form the corner are in. And we're going to stick the saw in this gap here and they're going to get cut together so the angle cannot be wrong when they come to meet up. So let's give it a go. Put them in the right angle. So there we go. I think we have uh, success in technical achievements so that's awesome. Hopefully we'll be able to get these bashed out uh, quite quickly. That's optimistic. So, there we go. Joy to the world. How's this gone there now? Yeah. How am I supposed to cut it? There's a bit of nail in the way. Okay, so it's not going to cut there though, is it? It's going to cut like that. Oh yeah. Onto the nail. <laughs> well, how's that happened? <laughs> Dad, something's gone wrong here. Oh. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Wait. da 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 does it fit? Let's go and see. Okay, so it's obviously not that piece. <laughs> uh, Let's see if no. it's this piece. <laughs> it goes. This is actually slightly too long. Is it? Well, yeah. maybe that'll be perfect for in the top left hand corner. You just reduce the length of this by a little bit. Is this my, Is this it? Uh, I don't actually see, I didn't see where you put it. Oh, this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the magic. Right in there. Oh yeah, nice tight corner. Excellent. Move all the way up. Brilliant. Looks lovely. Today we are making salmon pasta. Spicy salmon pasta? Creamy salmon pasta. It hasn't got a name. It's Credit. called salmon pasta. <laughs> <laughs> today, today we're making salmon pasta, which um, credit where credit's due. It's from our friend Stu in Scotland. Um, probably we have nicked a lot of recipes from him over the years and not credited him. So there you go. It's dead simple. Bit of a theme there. Everything is always dead simple in our kitchen. It's smoked salmon with some chopped olives, white wine, chili flakes, and some tomato puree, some cream, some lemon juice, but let's get going. And a splash of olive oil. You won't need a lot of olive oil because 
smoked salmon, of course, because it's cured, is already a pretty oily fish and a pretty salty fish. So this doesn't have any salt or pepper in it. I just get the pack of salmon, drop it straight into the pan. So I'm giving this a little bit of encouragement, just sort of breaking it up with the edge of the wooden spoon, but not much. It will naturally flake anyway. So this has been going for about a minute and a half. It really takes no time at all. And if you come and have a look, you can see it's got that really kind of classic cooked salmon look now, that light sort of pinky colour. Into that, now that it's cooked through, I'm going to add the olives. Doesn't matter if they've got a bit of juice in them from the jar. A shake of crushed chilies. Now that that's all mixed in, the last thing that goes in at this stage is a really good glug of white wine. Any white wine will do. You can get as cheap as you like because you're only going to use it for cooking. Enough to basically cover the salmon, olives and chilli mix. So if you have a look now, you can see that that's pretty much covered. We're going to leave this to bubble and then eventually simmer until the liquid's reduced by about, I would say by about two thirds. I forgot to say, this gets served over pasta, hence the name salmon pasta. So if you come and have a look at the salmon liquid, you can see it's reduced nearly all the way down. So what we're gonna add into that is a bit more liquid, but thicker liquid. Thicker liquid, <laughs> is it also known as cream? <laughs> and tomato puree. Ah. First of all, we're going to add a good, um, I think the technical term is splodge, of tomato puree. Let's turn that pasta down. That's maybe, what, a tablespoon? A tablespoon and a half? What you want to do is just get the remaining liquid thickened right up and to quite a pinky colour. That's what you're looking for. And now in with that goes a squeeze of half a lemon. Oh. And lastly, and I turn the heat off for this, just because I'm never sure about whether the French creams will split or not, um, it's semi-thickened cream. You can find it in any of the fridges over in France if you happen to be cooking this in France. Normally comes in a little triple pack, these little cartons. Any fridge in France. <laughs> Even your own <laughs> fridge. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> we were doing so well. <laughs> and then you ruined it. Any supermarket fridge. Let me qualify that statement <laughs> that was wildly generalist. <laughs> so you saw, before Paul rudely interrupted, I hope, that I put maybe about two tablespoons of this in, maybe about three tablespoons. This is not a uh, health food recipe in any way. I'm going to add a wee bit more. And that is basically your base. That is your sauce. So in one moment, once Paul's finished tripping over the cat bowls, <laughs> <laughs> I will get this served up. So the sauce, I think, took about 20 minutes. I wasn't timing it, but roughly 20 minutes from start to finish. Straight into some pasta bowls. So there you have it. Salmon pasta with olives, chilies, white wine, cream. Um, serve it with garlic bread. It is delicious. Enjoy. for this room. Okay, there we go. You removed Turns the pain. Yummy.
This is going to be the fun bit. <laughs> so whispering in the background. <laughs> what I mustn't do is smash the thing. Yeah. That would be ideal. Uh, Perhaps you ought to wear gloves. Yeah, 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 I should be wearing gloves. You're quite right. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is um, just cleaning, cleaning the um, the old putty off the window. I first saw this uh, little tool that I've got over here uh, on uh, Michael Petherick's channel, uh, doing it ourselves, and it's really useful. It's like a razor blade. It's attached to a hand tool, and you, what you do is you just scrape up, and it gets all the um, the stuff off the window without scratching it. Oh, this comes right off. Okay, so we've got ourselves a little uh, production line here. Uh, over here, I'm going to hammer in these new edges that we've cut. Go. Okay. Okay. We've got one done, and over here, another uh, stage of the production line is uh, my mother. Hi. <laughs> Mummy. Is, Mummy is removing uh, the old pieces here. Um, I don't know what these are called, the trim pieces that hold the glass in. Beading. Uh, beading, is it called that? Doesn't sound right. It's beading, that's right. Okay. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we'll get this through this a bit more quickly now that we've got a system. <laughs> so a bit of a disaster. The nail's got it sideways and it's split the wood here. The pins are too big. That's a nightmare. Oh, you little What's it done? <sighs> it's done exactly the same thing. Which so is? the last minute is bent over to the side. No. Stupid thing. Paint over it. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'm filling in the gaps in the wood that I think a mouse has nibbled at. Down here and it's one part water and three powder and it sets within 30 minutes, so I have to get a move on. <laughs> and, hmm. I have to build it up, I think. And then, it looks like I've made too much. But it's, then it's difficult to tell how much you need. I'm just finishing it off, but it's more tricky than I thought. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's fine. What we'll do is then we'll just sand it. We'll sand it down now, I think, um, after it's dried and uh, we've got a bit of excess there, so good work. I am sanding down these iron bars, getting rid of all the rust so that they can be painted black. Can you tell which ones have been done? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, not really, because the light is behind uh, the... Okay, well that one's definitely been done. And this is the one, is the reason why I think the bars were originally red, because it's not that rusted. Anyway, so this one hasn't been done, so that's kind of like what they were like before. And I'm just on this one at the moment, and we're just... Standing all the way. Uh, and this is the benefit of having your family visiting. Hello! <laughs> you get DIY slaves, which is very, very handy. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact, we're on the ground floor, aren't we, Claire? Yes, we of are, the yeah. chateau at the minute. Actually, I feel like we're underneath, like we're in the basement underneath ground level, however. The, this is the ground floor. This is, is it the ground floor? Yeah, this is, we're in the basement, but I mean, yeah. it's the ground floor. Okay, yeah. But if we look out the window, the actual ground, <laughs> it's a fair, fair way away down there. It's not so, like dropping something down there so you can really see the depth. <laughs> yeah, I think if I do that, you'll probably get an idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you go to the other side of the basement though, we're proper underground, like where the front door is, 
you can you, there's little peep holes up to the main sort of grounds upstairs so yeah we're underground in half of the chateau and really high up in the other half of the basement so the reason that we're underground on one side of the building and way above ground on the other is because it's been built on a, a bright and steep hill uh, which is why it's so beautiful chateau -y, yeah. <laughs> overlooking the valley Yay. and there you go it might be the littlest chateau but that doesn't mean that it isn't extraordinarily tall you can see my mum just up there in the uh the ground floor uh window they're painting painting away and, ah there's the ground <laughs> And there's mum. I don't know how many metres that is, but it must be a good three metres up. And that's the ground floor. And then if we go back a bit, I fall, <laughs> if I don't fall off into the field, we have our um, sort of terracey area. What's that called? Balcony. Balcony, thank you. <laughs> My lovely wife unit correcting me there and then that's the that's the ground floor on the other side this is the ground floor on the other side of the building this is the basement on the other side of the building and there is the library area this is also the bedroom first floor of the uh chateau and then up there you can't even see there's a dormer window either three and that would be the attic -y, uh area so yeah little chateau uh still not very little i'm painting the railings after sandpapering them down excellent and they look quite rusty but with a bit of ham oh i'm not allowed to say that am I? no you can say hammerite hammerite paint which is lovely outdoor paint and i'm painting them as you can see and it probably looks better from this side because my daughter's going to paint the other side. Perfect. Okay, we're just finishing off the uh, coat of paint on the bars um, behind me. Well, I say we. <laughs> Mum is doing it. <laughs> there she is, uh, studiously working. Let's have a look. Yeah, this has come out lovely, isn't it? Wow. Really brightened everything up. Yeah. I say brightened, it's black, obviously. But <laughs> compared to the how it was, I'll just go and show everyone what the other window, which is not yet complete, looks like. You can see what it's like. Fantastic job. In all kinds of weather. The only weather it hasn't done is snow, I think. And, and there's my beautiful wife unit hiding behind a barrel. No one can hear you. Thanks. She's painting the bars. Yeah, in France, um, there's a law on the ground floor um, of a, a house. You either have to have bars or shutters. So um, because it's the ground floor, despite the fact that it's a good two and a half meters off the ground, you still need to have bars on the windows or um, shutters. So <laughs> that's what we got. Bother. So I've just been fitting these uh, panes of glass back in and one of them has given me a bit of jip trying to get to, to re-bed back in and I've managed to break it. That's a real disaster. Oh, I cannot believe it. It just would not go back in. And just a little bit too much force. Just I haven't got any spares. Nightmare. No spare panes. Uh, this is a total nightmare. No idea where to go and get a piece of glass made up. Oh dear. Uh, so uh, I was able to get a, a spare piece of glass cut at the local um, uh, bricolage, which is uh, sort of a DIY place. Uh, amazingly, um, let's see if it's the right size. <laughs> Not the right size that direction. Ooh. But it 
is the right size. It is the right size that direction, so that's good. Let's not break this one. <laughs> <laughs> I am removing these bits from this. Some of them have come off and some of them are still attached. Observe. And what do those bits do? They uh, hold the glass in? They hold the glass in, that's right. Yeah. They hold the glass in. This is the la glass or glass? Depends glass. where you come from. Glass. 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 <laughs> Only dirty northerners say glass. <laughs> glass. <laughs> I'm slowly but surely ripping up this stupid gluey stuff which is down keeping the wood in place. It is so hard. I think, oh, look, I've got this bit there that I could just, oh, I could just rip that out. Oh. And it just won't come. So then you have to scrape it away. Like it's right under the nook. Like they stuck it in and then pushed a bit more in and then rammed it in with some more wood That's and then nice. sealed it up. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, some of the wood's a bit sort of rotted over here, so we're gonna just sort of pull out the rot and then fill it in. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh no, it's not coming. It's not. No, it's not coming. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. See? It's so close. <laughs> so close. Oh, I'm getting there. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> 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 What's going on over here? I've been blinded by the lights. I'm painting the bars, and Mum seems to think that if like she that. sellotapes it to my hair, she's sellotaping it to my hair. <laughs> oh! It's only masking tape. Um, isn't it? Yeah, see the cat agrees. <laughs> oh my god! Why is this happening? <laughs> well, then you can see. Uh, Oh my god, you've got a lot of hair. I've got a lot of hair. Not for long. See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Work. I love painting. <laughs> I think it was a new piece of wood. Look, look at that. Was that beige? -y oh yeah. Colour, so now it's proper. That's a whole load better, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. That's a relief. It is. I thought we were going to have to do 17 million coats. For exterior, you really want an oil-based paint um, because if it's water-based, it stands to reason that if it's raining, rain is made of water, so it's likely to get washed off again. Uh, and it's also, also going to be a lot thinner and you're going to need a million different coats, so go for oil-based. I think for the win. It's going on much better for us anyway. That success. <laughs> it actually was better than not wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh it's not hey. too bad. There we go. <laughs> he did let let and hair free. Oh, Yay. that's excellent. He didn't remove <laughs> any hair. No, no, Good didn't. job. Yeah, again, yeah. If you're ever in a, a tizzle for how to make a hat, hat DIY. Oh yes, you got a, <laughs> you've got a piece stuck to your hair still. <laughs> Here, come come. Uh, oh my god. Do you want to do it? You, no, you can do it, it's fine. Ah, Sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> that did have some hair. That did, yes. Yeah, <laughs>